it's Dom. In today's episode of AI Update, we're going to talk about new fine-tuned image models, Reddit user ChatGPT drama, ChatGPT hacking, voice models, AI search engines, AI meme generator, and other AI-related news. Right, so we're going to start with mem.space. This is a great free tool that everyone can use to generate beautiful images using first two models, stable diffusion. But today I'm going to be talking about the next three. Obviously there are more of them. There are 15 fine tunes that are in pro version, which basically costs $4 per month. And I want to talk specifically about one model. This is the model I want to talk about. This model generates beautiful anime images, pictures, and is specifically fine-tuned for two purposes, including NSFW, which stands for not set for work. I'm gonna try not to bump in one of those examples, hopefully, but just to show you, yeah, I'm not gonna scroll down how cool those models are and those are unfortunately only available in the pro version here's the prompt and it's using this duchatain model which was fine-tuned on stable diffusion the next thing i want to talk about is prompt builder mid journey prompt helper it's like a wizard start typing idea and then use the wizard options to enhance the output. I'm gonna show you the example. Let's take maybe Tesla model three. Let's choose camera because we want beautiful shot. DSLR is pretty cool. Lighting we want in a dusk. Then we're gonna choose style. We're gonna search for cyberpunk and we're gonna choose best quality. So now I'm gonna copy the prompt. I'm gonna go to Discord and I'm gonna start imagine prompt and I'm gonna paste the prompt. Oops, let me just delete this one. And let's see what would be the result. Okay, it looks like we have the result. And this is Tesla Model 3 in cyberpunk style. How cool is that? Next thing I want to show you guys is Google Trends. So I chose four search terms to plot. And everything started a half year ago with DALI. And then Mid Journey took over with beautiful pictures. Then the red line stable diffusion took over and we can see that mid journey actually is now taking over all the image models. Right. The next thing I want to talk about is what Ben Tossel tweeted. Just to put you in perspective, a year ago didn't exist chat GPT, whisper model, text to product, which is insane topic on its own worth separate video and mid journey. Okay, moving on. Hassan from Vercel created a restorephotos.io tool, which is also open source, to restore any old blurry face photos with AI. So let's just dive in and I will show you the demo how this works. So you go on to the restorephotos.io, which is hosted on Vercel. You can drop the image you want to restore in my case, I want to restore the blurry face of this meme girl. Have you ever wondered what she looks like? So let's find out. This is her face. And yes, I think they are sisters. Like I said before, this is open source, so you can go to Vercel AI and this is actually the first template from the top you can just click and deploy and play around with it 
Also, it's worth to say that Versal have got right now six template AI templates, which you can deploy yourself and play around with this AI technology. All right, moving on. <laughs> this one is going to be pretty funny. One of the Reddit users uh, asked the community <laughs> what to do. So basically he submitted a 4,000 words essay in December, like fairly recently, and got caught using chat GPT. <laughs> okay, it's not funny. One of the edits, he's actually sh saying that he's shaking right now. And I, I don't know what was the outcome of this meeting, but this story is actually teaching us that we can check the hugging face AI checker to see the probability and percentage of AI generated content. Okay, so moving on from image models to ChatGPT, Ars Technica is reporting that young people now using ChatGPT to actually write functional malware, which is, you know, that ChatGPT allow kids to enter the hacking space. It reminds me the late 90s, early 2000s. It's not a coincidence this news straight after the poor student which got caught using ChatGPT. It's still too early to decide whether or not ChatGPT capabilities will become the new favorite tool for participants in the dark web. Like, think twice before you gonna enter this path. Okay, still staying with ChatGPT, Data Chas GPT shared the screenshot with something really cool. OpenAI is working on the pro plan and it's related to Greg's tweet. OpenAI is working on professional version of ChatGPT, which will be paid, but with higher limits and much faster performance. Okay, now moving to voice models. Revoicer.com is a pretty cool startup offering 100% human sounding voiceover. Let's hear some examples. 2002. Yes, in 2002. The kids are sleeping. So whispering a little bit emotions. 2002. Do you remember what you said to me? Try to remember. A little bit of drama. In 2002, I won the lottery. The best year of my life. Excitement. The barn. That's where I saw him the first time. Run. Action and fear. He is coming. This landing page actually is pretty cool. The title said 97% of people can't tell which voiceover is text to speech model. Let's play with it. Entering the coral reef is like discovering a little city in the sea. This totally reminds me Wujak stories from low budget stories. Shout out to Ryan and Rooster. So let's hear now the video number two. Entering the coral reef is like discovering a little city in the sea. The creatures here all seem to have a job to do. Right, okay, so this is human, this is text-to-speech model, obviously, right? Yeah, but both videos had an AI voiceover. This company actually supports many languages. You can change the speech speed and is capable of emphasizing specific words and natural poses. Pretty cool. Right, let's move on. We're st still staying with speech models and this news is, is about Microsoft releasing new model, zero shot model that is capable of duplicating everyone's voice based on only three second sample. That's quite mind blowing. And here are the samples. So for example, Whereby love making may be suspended, but that those the three second recorded and then the others resented postponement, but it was just his scruples that charmed me. Continuation based on the first. 
well satisfied with my cabin, which was located in the stern. The others resented postponement, but it was just his scruples that charmed me. If you want to read the whole article, I'm going to paste the link in the, the description section. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about is prompt engineering. And Rayleigh tweeted that the prompt engineering is in its infancy, which I totally agree with. All the AI tools are lacking syntax highlighting or prompt helpers. We have no linters, no type checkers, and no macros, no compilers, no syntax even for comments. But it's also worth to mention that the industry is moving really fast. Just look at the prompt builder, the wizard I presented on, on the beginning of the video. Okay, move on. <laughs> okay, imagine the situation that you send email to your boss and you use AI tool, but you forgot to remove the prompt. <laughs> The next thing is Sam tweeted about the statistics with numbers of Amazon employees versus robots. And as you can see, in some point in future, robots will take over. It's already started. It's already happening. This is pretty nice chart and it caught my attention because the mighty troll replied to this tweet. Right, moving on from the news to now AI search engines. Pint is the tool that use AI to analyze the search results and then answering your question you put in the input. What is the country with the cheapest Tesla? Model 3. Searching, then analyzing the results. Yeah, 33,000. Let's try something different. Let's ask how many kids does Elon Musk have? And the short answer is nine. Living children. Yeah, one died, but I think 10. You know, Musk means he's 10 children. Yeah. Okay, so AI is confused here, but you get the point. The truth is that when you're going to ask Google, how many kids does Elon Musk have? It's eight. So this tool is closer. Moving on. Next news is that Sam Altman, CEO of OpenAI, said in the interview, in general, we are going to release technology much more slowly than people would like. We're going to sit on it for much longer, which is fair enough. But the true news here is that he confirmed that OpenAI is working on video model. On the end, I want to finish with the meme generator. Pretty cool tool. Let's try to generate the meme, maybe related to Elon Musk. It's pretty good quality memes here. <laughs> That's usually a BMW meme, but maybe AI model, you know, thought about Elon Musk, Tesla and BMW, hence the connection. Yeah, it's pretty good quality memes. Okay, that's all for today. If you enjoy it, smash the like button and subscribe to my channel for more content like this.